Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is the 26th of July edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates on things that we've talked about in the past. This is all stuff that has popped up in the last week. It's been a busy week. Mm -hmm. All right, we only have a couple of updates uh, to update you on. The first one is Fenty. So last week we talked about uh, the release of the Pro Filter Mattifying Primer, and we said that when it was originally put on the website as like a coming soon product, uh, in the description of how to use it, they did mention that you could use it underneath a hydrating. Foundation, foundation or the mattifying foundation which is currently the one out so gave us a hint that they're working on and planning on releasing a hydrating foundation very very soon but what um rihanna actually did was she posted a video announcing that their fenty beauty is going to be coming to a few countries and in that video announcing it they showed a couple of new products so very very quickly they showed these products uh, one is a foundation type base product in a tube so a few people are speculating that this might be um, maybe a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer type product because that's very popular in um, Asian countries which is where they're now launching but I think it's more likely that it's going to be the hydrating Pro Filter Foundation. In that video as well, it looks like there's more either highlighting duos or blush duos. Um, so they do currently have highlighting duos and some of the shades do look like blushes or they could be used as blushes. Uh, it just looks like there might be more shades coming out or maybe blush duos. Not too sure, um, but that's sort of what is being sneak peeked. So Fenty is coming to Hong Kong, Macau, Seoul and Jeju in September. And I reckon these will be either launching just before because uh, the primer was coming in stores in August. Yeah. So I reckon they're going to do a big launch. They never just release one item. They often release a bunch a of bunch, different yeah. items at once. So I feel like new foundations, blush duos, stuff coming. From Menagerie Cosmetics, we saw a little sneak peek of a palette that looked like it had an octopus on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we see this. It's the Violet Ink Palette. This is a six pan purple palette. Uh, it looks like it has four matte shades and two shimmery shades. Yeah, I think that's about right. It's available for pre-order now, um, $19.99. And they're also launching all of the Whale Song singles, the Custom Pro palette, and liquid lipsticks. They're all going to be on sale as well. So, yeah. there we go. I really like this palette. Purples are beautiful. And if this... Look, this is what I'm going to say. I like the colour story of this. It's fun. This is modern purple done well. However, Looks purples, like a are, purples are one of the hardest yes. formulas to create. Because if you don't create them well, they go on patchy, they look dusty, and you look like you've been punched in the face. Correct. So unless these are... A, unless they're well pigmented and a good formula and by good formula I mean they apply evenly and they blend really well they yeah. could be it could be a tragedy it could be but the thing that I really like about this is that this is that um, sort of indigo blurple color that I really love the color of it. It's one of those colors that for me personally, I look at it and I'm like, it makes my brain fuzzy. Um, and I love those colors. And I just, I see a lot of purple palettes these days. None like this. Mm. This is so unique and this is going in its own direction. I think it's setting its own trends. It's almost like um, when Gemini brought back sort of murky olive greens mm. uh, that sparked the green trend. I think this could spark the purple trend. Yeah. I think it's done so well. We've said for the longest time that we want to try this brand, but we need something to speak to me to yeah. try it. This speaks to me. I want this so badly. I just feel like if I buy it, it's not going to be used often. It's going to yeah. be used on like the lower lash line or the outer corner or yeah. like a little pop because it's these kind of colors can look very, very gothic and very, very bruise like yeah. if you, you don't do them well. You have to like wearing a full purple look like this. Like if these are as vibrant and rich as they look in the palette on the eye, like you're going to have to have a double set of balls to pull this off because it's going to be 
punchy and vibrant. And yep. I'm sure, like many people who are watching this, you've got those balls. You've probably got yep. multiple sets of those double balls. But, um, yeah, I look, I like this. I think the color story is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just curious about the formula. Yeah. I, look, I think the thing that makes this harder to wear is that they're all dark shades. Mm. So vibrancy, like if you can wear like a, like that's why neons are sort of coming back. You can wear a bright color in, to inject a bit of color into your look, but it doesn't change the look of your face. Whereas if you put like, if you're not comfortable wearing a smoky black eye, you're probably not going to be comfortable wearing a whole look using this. But I can see pops of it working mm. beautifully with golds and browns and bronzes and oranges and whatever you want to do and the blues and the greens that are popular now. This, I want this. It's just a matter of, I'm going to, I think the pre-sale, I don't know if it's sold out, they sometimes do. Um, and I don't know by the time you're watching this if it has, but I think I'd want to wait and see and wait until think. it's in stock and yep. then at my leisure buy it but this is so on my radar it's it's not funny and this is something that's like like we said with the um huda palettes when she released the neon palettes i don't have anything like this in my collection mm. which is very hard to do when you have hundreds of eyeshadow palettes i don't have anything like this which is really unusual and i respect a lot so mm. You're on my radar, for sure. Nakia Joy Cosmetics. Yes. So we've seen what she has launched. It's the Illuminate Highlighting Palette. So this palette is available now. It's retailing for $36, US dollars, $51 Australian dollars. Uh, they're calling it their brand new Illuminating Highlighting Palette with six velvety shimmer powders to drench the skin in the ultimate glow. Suitable for all skin tones. Layer the buttery rich pigments for a high power shine or use individually for a lit from within glow. So that's available now at Nakia Joy Cosmetics. Yeah, I think this is like an interesting move. If you look at the swatches, you're like, okay, they're all different, but they're all very, very safe highlighter shades. And, you know, there are some warm undertones, some cool undertones, and there's quite a frosty light one and a more of a rosy bronze one. So you can get the spectrum. Personally, like, I think the formula will be really good. I yeah. think Nakia knows what she's doing and she says she's been working on this for a long time trying to get the formula yeah, right. I believe her. Um, personally, for me, I don't use highlighter palettes. Mm. Uh, I'll That's get them and I too. like them and I'll use them for a bit and then they sit in a drawer and I forget about them yeah. while I'm using single highlighters. Um, so the problem with highlighter palettes uh, is always that you will buy it and you might like two or three shades mm. and then some don't work for you um you can use these on your eyes you yeah can use she did mention yeah that you can use them on your eyes so if you wanted to if you didn't like the deep shades or the really light shades use them as eyeshadows but uh, the thing that i think works about this is that i trust the formula and i know that this is very on brand for her yeah and her audience so yeah. even though this i would prefer probably prefer to see them in duos mm. like the two lighter shades duos middle shades duos the deeper shades duos that's more functional in my life yeah i know that her audience have been asking for this for a long time and i think it's spot on brand with her and i trust the formula so yeah. um good on her good on you nikia all right let's start from the start baby new stuff all right bare minerals we have a new collection this is the bounce and blur so this is going to be available on 25th of july so it's out it's yeah out when you're watching this when when you when we're filming this we don't have all the information no, we but don't. we do have um, some information so they're calling it a breakthrough new bouncy powder yeah this is interesting now it looks like the range consists of there's two eyeshadow palettes one is sort of it's a dark warm palette and then there's a cool sort of mauvey but still dark palette so You've got, oh God, I want the, I want the warm one. Why do you do this to me? Yeah. Uh, and then we have four blushes. These all look beautiful as well. You've got two pinky tones and um, a peach and then a nude shade. Yeah. So these are essentially the putty type consistency mm. it's designed to mainly be applied with your fingers um and the video that should be playing on the screen uh it's got uh hayley bieber in it demonstrating that you you know you can press it and you can see it mold to your fingers um and you apply it to your eyes and your cheeks so this is not going to be for everyone no especially people that are watching this that are makeup enthusiasts you probably graduated beyond having to use a putty eyeshadow because 
you know you're probably a gun with your brushes yes you're and you probably want more pigmentation and whatnot so i think this is more that they're trying to introduce color to an entry level of makeup users so i did see some photos or some videos where they did the pr launch of this and it looked messy okay i'm a potato and i didn't screenshot when they had an influencer sort of pr event And people, they were sharing people's Instagram stories of the event and they were showing like, oh, this is, and it just looked greasy on the pan. Mm. So like you touch it and then around the packaging just gets kind of like smeary and gross. So I think it's going to be a messier thing. I think people that like cream products, this might be really nice. People that are starting out, they want a bit of a wash of color without having to use brushes or anything like intimidating. I'm sure the formula is very nice. Yeah. Putty in general doesn't last very long in a brand. Mm. You see, like, who did it? Was it Revlon or Maybelline? I think Maybelline, those bounce blushes. Yeah. Um, You know, Steeler with their sort of highlighters are still trying to make it happen. Mm. Um, But generally, they're not the most popular. They dry out unless you use them up. Um, So I'm sure that the quality will be nice. It's just not a winning idea yeah in my opinion i feel like putty makeup is literally fetch yes everyone make tries to make it happen and we're all like no i think they spend so much time formulating this new product and they're like okay it's got to be stable and it's got to work it's got to blend nicely and it's got to not dry out and all this kind of stuff and then all of a sudden people buy it and they're generally paying a decent price for it, which these will be probably not super cheap. Um, they use it a couple of times. They're like, fuck, just getting a brush and a powder eyeshadow is so much easier. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just use my yeah. powders and they go back to it like six months later and it's dried out. Like yeah. it, 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 there's a problem that p- people don't use it every day for a reason, yeah. but people that do love it and want it to come back, it's Bare coming. Minerals. Bare minerals And they've it. got two beautiful fucking eyeshadow palettes and four beautiful blushes. So if you do love Enjoy a putty yourself. formula. Yeah, it's and, coming. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Um, okay, Beauty Blender. We yeah. have uh, five new brushes. So And not just new brushes. First mm. brushes they've ever released. Yes. So they're adding to their tool range. Correct, yes. So the brushes are the Big Boss Powder Brush and Cooling Roller. Now, yeah. before I give any more info about this, I will say three of the brushes in this collection are double-ended. They have um, cooling eye rollers it's on a weird the bottom of them. Teardrop shape. Like I think design-wise, it's interesting and it's yeah. very different. People mm, are using is. jade rollers and yeah. um, you know metal rollers to cool. Uh, deep puff and yeah. cool the other under eye area. So this. It's interesting that they've paired the two because you see them separately all the time. Yeah. But I've never seen them combine the two. Together. No, I I think it's interesting. Yeah. Um, So information about these. Uh, The big one is um, it's a big powder brush uh, with the rollerball on the end. Okay. So all cruelty-free synthetics. It's supposed to mimic real hair. And offer an unbelievably soft touch. Now, the large brush is 60 US dollars. It's hard to swallow. Very hard to swallow. Jesus. Then we've got the Shady Lady All Over Eyeshadow Brush and Cooling Roller. This is 30 US dollars. The High Roller Crease Brush and Cooling Roller, $33. Then there is the Player Three Way Brow Brush. So it's a stiff angled brush for applying your brow doodads. And then on the other end of the brush, you have a spoolie comb combo. That's pretty unique. That's unique. I actually, like, I'm... I love brow brushes like this that have the angle brush for your pomades or your powders. And then you've got the spoolie on the other end. I agree. But then the brush is good because you can comb your lashes or you can comb your brows through. So I I like that combo. I don't like the price tag, though. No, it's 28 US dollars. Hell, mm, I don't know. Like... It's okay. got to be bloody no, good for I, 28 US dollars. Even my, my Hakuhodu, like, spoolie brushes, like, they didn't cost me $28. No. No. I just... Mm. Okay. I really like the Benefit one that does that. Yeah, a, that is such a That's a, a good great one. brush. That's and, a great and that's brush. not 28 US dollars. Unless it is, and I Unless apologize. But off the top of my head, it's not. It's not. No. I'm not. I'm not sure how no. much it is. The last one we have is the Wingman Curved Eyeliner Brush. This is $22. This is just a... Like it's not double ended, uh, but it's a unique, like it's a half unique, fan. Yeah, yeah, it's like a half fan. Now 
They're saying it is a first to market brush that introduces a curved head shape, which helps to create a steady flick every single time. The cruelty free blah blah tapered uh, bristles are specifically designed to hug the lash line for high precision application for gel, liquid or powder formulas without any gaps or crooked wings. Interesting. I, mm, I'm very interested in this brush. Uh, did I say it's 22 US dollars? I would pay that just to see what this is like. I... Mm, the shape's interesting. There's so many things about this that's like going around in my head, but I feel like it's too hard to make a judgment call based on this one dimensional picture. That's fair. So... That's fair. I might try and get my hands on it one day when it comes to Australia and have a play with it. The rest of the brushes... I'm not Basic and very yet. expensive. I think, and also, can I just say, yeah. like, what are we doing? Like, are we sitting down and picking up our brushes when we're applying our skincare? I'm not. I'm not either. Yeah, you, you like when people use those rollers, they use them with face oils or serums. Yeah, and also, can I just point out that they're actually meant to be kept in the refrigerator? Yeah, so for that the they're cold. Oil. Like, what are you going to do? Put it, de- it depends brush- on your, Yeah, <laughs> but it depends on your climate though it because does, yeah. even in a cooler climate they do they, they're, they're colder yeah. than normal yeah and they're colder than your average brush yeah. that that sort of holds a bit more heat so i understand that i think the design element like it looks cool with a teardrop down the bottom mm. um i don't think many people are going to use it for the intended purpose mm. um especially if you you like store your brushes in a cup like it's going to just gather stuff. You don't want to then, you know, yuck, yuck, put yuck, that yuck, on yuck. your under eye area. Like yeah. it, it just seems like they're taking, they're trying to do something different, which I respect, yeah. but I don't also similar to the putty thing. Okay. I see where it's coming from. You're trying to be innovative. Yeah. And that is but it's really not important. Super practical in mm. my opinion. And I think the price tag, if they're adding a lot of money to the price tag for that little design element, which mm. I see as being more aesthetics, like the, the, like um little teardrop at the bottom kind of looks cool. Yeah. And that's what I would just be like, oh, that's a cool looking brush. And it might weight it nicely. Yeah. Um, too expensive though. And even yeah. their eyeliner brush that's 22 to US dollars without the little baubly thing. That's a lot. It's a lot. But then again, this is like the most expensive uh, makeup sponge brand. So expect yeah. their brushes to be expensive. expensive. So, but they're out now. We have a little brush set. Uh, this is the Beautylish... Chikahodu um, Sakura Brush Trio. So they've designed this as a little travel friendly collection. It is, like I said, three brushes with beautiful designed handles. We've only seen two of the three brushes. So I'm, far, yeah. I'm hoping that the next one will come out and we'll be able to pop it up on the screen for you. But the first one we've got is the powder brush. Uh, then we have... The cheek brush. Excellent. I'm which just... is ideal for uh, contouring, blushing, and highlighting. Excellent. I'm going to go right on ahead and guess that the skinny one is going to be an eye brush. Yes, I think that's fair. So these look like they've got smaller handles for the travel element. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they do release one of these collections sort of every year. Last year, was it the Mount it's Fuji? the blue one. Yeah, was it, was it Mount Fuji? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a beautiful collection. This one is, you know, a cherry blossom collection. So, um, yeah, it's nice. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. There we go. You can sign up for the notification. Notification. All right, we've seen the BH Cosmetics Mini Zodiac Palette for Leo. Um, it is. It's a lion. Well, it does have a mane. Tan sort of. and brownie colours with and blue eyes. Yes, it's got it's got nudes, it's got soft golds, and a pop of blue. It's fourteen dollars now available. So they're saying it's a bold assortment of dr- dramatic no. shades. Ranging from sun-kissed neutrals to fiery metallics. Fiery metallic is not... that. Nah, stop it. Nah, nah, mate. You're dead to me. Piss on me and tell me it's raining. Yeah. Go on, give it a try. Bobby Brown. Um, we have a couple of things. In Australia, the Essential Multicolor Eyeshadow Palettes have launched. So this is a collection of uh, five quint eyeshadow palettes. So five palettes... Five shades in each palette. 
you've got nudes, warms, cools, purples, it's more cools, the the stuff. There's yeah. things from Bobby Brown. So if you're interested in these, they've launched in Australia and they will be uh, elsewhere in the world. Then they've also launched uh, a new couture drama eyeshadow palette. So this is launched in the US. It's a bigger palette. Um, you've got eight smaller eyeshadows and two larger eyeshadows. So they're saying it's a high pigment palette uh, and it's the newest addition to the drama collection. It includes matte, shimmer wash, chrome metal and metallic shadows. Uh, that can be applied dry or wet for maximum color payoff. So it's now available in the US exclusively on Sephora for 59 US dollars, but it's probably coming elsewhere other times. So this is a pretty nude palette. I do like the mix of finishes. Yeah. Um, and But I think this is more like if you like the Bobbi Brown formula, mm. which is generally not super pigmented. That's what I've noticed. Uh, this is your basic Sort of warm tone nudes with a pop of silvery blue. Yeah. Charlotte Tilbury has launched two new lipsticks and these are based off the cult favourite shade, Pillow Talk. Of course. So, Which is starting to become the orgasm of the Charlotte Tilbury world. It is. Indeed. Uh, so we've got Pillow Talk Diamonds. Uh, these come in two shades. So they are shimmery lipsticks. Um, we've got... Like I said, Pillow Talk Diamonds, it's a rose pink lipstick with a dreamy veil of sparkle. And then Lucky Diamonds, this is a bronze coral pink with a golden sparkle. Yeah, I think if you like those sort of really shimmery, frosty, metallic lipsticks, you'll probably like these. Mm. Uh, doesn't suit everyone, sadly. No. I am in the it does not suit me yeah, category. Yeah, me too. Uh, but these are available now if they do suit you. Yes, go you good thing. All right, we've got one announcement from ColourPop, but as per usual, no doubt by the time this is up, there will be more releases <laughs> yeah. because ColourPop churn out those releases. They do. Uh, but they have created a collaboration with Halo Top Creamery, which is an ice cream company. Mm -hmm. um, so for this collaboration, they've made duos of Super Shock Shadows, and they come in little boxes that look like ice cream tubs which is or cartons or whatever they're very very cute so you have the mint chip duo the birthday cake duo the strawberry duo and the rainbow swirl duo so these are all new shades of uh super shock shadows and um some of them are the marbled but they sort of represent the ice cream which yeah. is kind of cute so they also smell like ice cream Stop it. Stop it, mate. Give me that strawberry one. Then. I know. Well, it doesn't smell... No. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't smell, smell like, like strawberry ice cream or mint ice cream. It just smells like ice cream. No, I just like the, the red yes, duo. That's fair. That was that's like fair. the one that I was like, oh, yeah. I like that. And the packaging is really cute. But now that I know they smell like ice cream, so yes. it'd be like vanilla -y, yum, 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 yum. Yes, it would. It'd probably Look. be like a vanilla -y custardy kind of scent. I don't hate it. No, I don't hate it it either am i going to buy it like it's going out of style probably not but but the price isn't too cute. bad so 12 dollars each pint that's good or 40 dollars for the whole set that's not too bad yeah anyway if you like super there shock shadows there you go and they got little limited edition packaging too you're cute you are cute okay from a brand called doe color or is it do color? I don't know. It's Who weird, knows? isn't it? Um, we've got some new palettes coming. Um, these are... They kind of look like Huda Beauty. They look like Huda Beauty and ColourPop had a baby. We've yep. got a green one and a blue one. And they're like, what do you want to see next? So I'm going to just take a stab in the dark. And assume we'll see a red, a yellow, an orange, a pink, a purple... But can I say, they are themed around gems, yes. which is very much like the Huda, Huda. palettes that came yeah. out, not last year, I think the year before, was it? Yeah. Or was it last year? Early well, last think, year. Yeah, early last year, so, I think. So, a good year ago. Mm. So they've got their gem going on, but when they announced the green one originally, they said, new collection coming soon, and they've got the green heart, the blue heart, the yellow heart, the purple heart, the red heart, and the orange heart. Yeah. So far they showed the green and the blue, so I feel like they're hitting those heart emoji yeah. notes, 
and we will see quite a few of them. I don't know anything about this brand. I know a little bit about this brand. Uh, they, what do you know about them? They are an OEM. Um, so it's an original equipment manufacturer. Because they so, mainly make brushes. Yes. So this is kind of like, you could almost consider ColourPop an OEM because they have their own factory. Like they manufacture their own items. So that's what this company is. Usually when we hear about OEMs, they are manufacturers that you can contact to have your own stuff manufactured. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they are, like they've created their own brand to yeah. sell. Yeah. Yeah. So they do like sponges and brushes and stuff, but it... yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All right, if you missed out on the Pac-Man Wet n Wild collab, mm. for some reason Pac-Man is like selling the rights to They're using... doing one of these ones. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so Essence mm -hmm. has just uh, announced a Pac-Man trend collection. So yes. this is a limited edition collection. They bring out each season a mm -hmm. new trend collection and a Pac-Man one is going to be one coming up. So we have the Essence Pac-Man eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, a baked highlighter, um, color changing lip balm, face brush, and an eye mask yep. coming soon. Now, we don't have an image of the eye mask, but no. we've got everything else. It looks like the palette, so it's an eight pan palette, it's cools and warms. It looks like they have tried to base those colors around the original colors of the game. And I don't have a problem with that, but I also feel like sometimes that's not a good idea. But if you look at the the game, there's blues and yellows and there oranges. Yeah. And what we've like got they're... here is nudes and browns and wine colors. Yeah. So they've taken the really safe colors um, and it doesn't represent the game, in my opinion. Enough. Enough. Yeah. I like the packaging, the fact that it's actually got, like, the screen, like, the game, yeah. what it looks like when you're playing the game yeah. is on the packaging. But I just feel like everything else, the like, the packaging looks cool. What's inside is boring. Mm. And I think um, that's going to stop a lot of people from giving a shit. Mm. I think definitely the Wet n Wild one, the makeup represented... The property a little bit better and yeah. was a little bit more fun this looks like okay the good thing about this though is if you're the kind of person that really loves nerdy games and you're like this speaks to me but i also am not very adventurous with my makeup it's wearable this is totally something that you can buy every single item of and yep. you can use it yeah which is great same. whereas like the wet n wild one they had like a blue lip balm and stuff <laughs> yeah, or a liquid yeah, lipstick yeah. not yeah. everyone's going to use that no, so absolutely not. so even though that was a little bit more different this is a little bit more wearable it's just about whether you which one you like more yeah at least this will come a bit more worldwide because essence tend to release globally a yes. lot better than wet and wild do yeah their trend editions come everywhere eventually which is yes it's good um okay fourth ray beauty we have the ray d8 boom tish uh vitamin c elixir so this is a dual phase yeah. Um, vitamin C elixir. Um, so it's a serum and an oil. You give it a shake and um, you put it on your skin. It's supposed to enhance radiance um, and give you a more luminous collection. Co collection. Yeah, Col we're collection. going with that. Radiance <laughs> collection. collection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Complexion. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to mention that um, when they did post about this, and I'm sure by the time you're watching this, this is already out. Um, when we're collecting this information, it was not out. So I don't know the price just yet. But in the comments section, a lot of people are asking, what's the deal with the clear packaging? Because right. vitamin C uh, degrades with light yep. and air. So yep. generally you need to keep it quite airtight and you need and to dark. also keep it dark if you want to use it for a long period of time and keep it quite active. So in response to the questions that a lot of people had, they said, we've harnessed the power of a stabilized vitamin C ester that has been tested to penetrate and absorb more effectively into the skin and protect against um, oxidative damage. Due to the use of this highly stable form of vitamin C, we're able to bottle up the magic in a clear packaging for the world to see without losing. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't. 
I don't think that's the case. They might I use a really high, high yeah, like a stable look, form, but that might not be the most effective form. I'm I'm not sure if I buy if that. I buy this. I agree. Um I have no doubt that there are very stable forms of vitamin C that can be in clear packaging. But this is Force Ray Beauty. This is twelve dollar face serum. I don't know if this is twelve dollars. Like it, it, it's probably it's something it's close. Something to that. around that. And I know when you're talking about high end ingredients, they're more expensive. I just I don't know. Look, I don't know. I think the difference is though, and this is where I think there's a funny thing. When you actually go to the higher end versions of vitamin C, they always degrade with light. Yeah. And so what I think might have happened, right? So we don't know what percentage of vitamin C no, this is. No, we don't. I almost feel like what they've done is they've taken a very low level of vitamin C that doesn't degrade further. Potentially, yeah. And they've just put it in a serum, labelled it vitamin C. Mm. It's going to brighten your complexion. It's great. You can see through it. Isn't it fun? You've got the orange and you've got the yellow. It's biphased. Hooray. But I don't think it's anywhere near like the 10, 15, 20% vitamin C that if yeah. it is exposed, it degrades very rapidly. Yeah. And then it's not as effective. So I think this is not a, you, as effective from the get go. Do That's you what think I reckon. it's a funny thing for them to release? Like, I. Okay. No shade to Fourth Ray Beauty. I associate them as a young person's skincare brand. That's fair because it's very it's a very affordable, affordable. And, and their main market of ColourPop is a younger yeah. generation and, and also their yeah. like their packaging is very sort of millennial and all that jazz. I don't look at Fourth Ray Beauty and go, I need a vitamin C serum because I've got dark spots mm -hmm. as a thirty four year old woman. I'm going to buy from Fourth Ray Beauty. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to go to Dermalogica. I'm going to go to Clinique. I'm going to go for something a bit more high-end or mid-range to high-end. Yeah. And I just think, like, I associate Fourth Ray Beauty with, like, you know, late teens, mm -hmm. maybe very early 20s if you, you know, have not a super high-paying job and you're just out of uni or something. Yeah. And those people generally have amazing skin anyway. Yes, <laughs> like but that's, that's where I feel like this is oh, not okay. But this is where I think it is acceptable like, yeah. because you don't you need higher levels of actives as you, as get, you get older, older. Yeah. Uh, to actually penetrate the skin and start restoring. Yeah. Um, when you're younger, this is probably just building up a good routine. Like mm. you, you, maybe when you're you know 19, you only need. 2% vitamin C is fine, Maybe, and yeah. that's what this is offering. Yeah. So I, I, I don't think this is necessarily that they've taken a really high advanced ingredient and they've put a low price tag on it. I think they've taken one of the bottom of the barrel yeah. where it can't degrade any further, Yeah. and they, they're putting that in their product, yeah. and it's with an oil. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't know enough about skincare to really, really analyze it, but I want to. <laughs> yeah. And we don't have too much information just yet. No, so. that's... That's right. But look, they're expanding Fourth Ray and that bottle looks sick. It does look sick. <laughs> what can I say? But if that's like, getting people to try vitamin C serums. Yeah, that's um, not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. thing. They but, can always increase to better yeah, ones. But down if the you track. are a mature woman and you are dealing with like dark spots from aging or sun damage. This ain't going to do it It's not, you. probably not the one for you. That's all we're trying to say yes, there. Yes, yeah. But also, with the same theory that we had last week with the, um, oh, what was it, the papaya face yes, milk? Yes, yeah. They, Fourth Ray Beauty, once again, they're hinting at orange. Yeah. Which tends to flow over to Colourpop are going to release something uh, orange. orange. So yeah. I do think an orange palette or a peach palette is coming Wouldn't soon. Wouldn't surprise me. From Fresh Beauty, we have some new skincare. Uh, this is the Vitamin, Vitamin Nectar. Nectar Glow Juice Antioxidant Face Serum. So uh, it contains vitamin C, E and B5 and minerals to give your complexion the boost of nutrition it needs. It's available now on Fresh Beauty for $28. US Interesting thing about this one as well. This I has know. a clear bottle mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't tell you how much vitamin C is in it. No. So once again, I think this is going for the same thing. It's a low dose and they're kind of saying this does everything you need. Mm. Um, and it's 
this is probably a step up. Okay, it's double the price of the fourth ray. Mm. Um, and it's got slightly tinted bottle. But I think it's the same sort of I concept. wonder what recharged skin feels like. I'd love to know. Because I don't feel recharged at all. They say 95% felt their skin was immediately energised and smooth. Don't know what energised skin feels like. And 93% said their skin was immediately nourished and recharged. So energised and recharged oh, skin. Nice. It's a I'll battery. Like... It's They're a battery. They're on a battery. All right, Glam Light. This one's an interesting one. So we know Glam Light for the pizza palette, the burger palette, the taco palette, the... Everything. Milkshake, lip, lip gloss, gloss yeah. the fries, eyes. Eyelashes, fries, fries. Fries, <laughs> eyes. They missed that fries. opportunity. You're welcome. You can have that one. Um, they've come out to say that they're creating a new palette. This is the paint palette. Mm. Um, they're, okay, they're blowing smoke up their own ass. Uh, the most iconic and revolutionary palette of our generation. It's not hun. It's a rainbow palette. Just yep. putting it out there. So they spent the last 18 months developing and perfecting one of the highest pigmented formulas on earth. No, I'm pretty sure pigment, pure <laughs> pigment is the most pigmented on earth. Yeah. Like I'm just, anyway. Yeah. Look, uh, I feel like it's been a long time since we've called out some good bullshit. This is the episode for it. Yes, that's true. Yes, it is. It is. It is. We're feeling fiery. Yeah. It is what it is. So this is the paint palette. It contains 18 of the most <laughs> versatile shades meticulously created for a true artist. No so, expense was spared in the creation of this masterpiece. Fuck, man. For this bullshit alone, I'm going to boycott this palette because yeah. that is a bunch of wankerisms. Oh. Anyway, this is, uh, it's got five ultra dazzling shimmers, 12 intensely pigmented mattes, one amazing white gold duochrome, um, and it's, it's oh. all oversized shadows with a whopping 36 grams of product, vegan cruelty free. They're two grams each. Yeah, Calm no, that's down. a normal pan. That's Calm a normal down. pan. Isn't that like a Mac? A Mac's that's a two Mac. Grams, isn't Correct. It? Or yeah. is, are they 2.5 maybe? I don't so, know. They're but... two or higher. Yeah, it's Calm a normal pan. Down. Uh, so it's 45 US dollars available for pre-order now. Um, and it ships the 29th of August. Mm. Um, so, yeah, not only does this contain a bunch of fucking wank, but <laughs> and it's just a rainbow palette. This looks very much like the Morphe James Charles palette. It does. Um, but what they have done that is slightly different is they've put it in an artist palette mm. design. Yeah. Now, if you're an artist and you paint, you're familiar with this palette. Yes. And it's taking the inspiration from, like, art and taking it literally. Yeah. And the reason why eyeshadow palettes are called palettes is because it's mimicking a, a painter's, a, a painter's palette. palette. So yeah. this is just taking it very, very literally. A lot of people are like, this is too cumbersome and big and I've got Fair. so many rainbow palettes, but Probably at least they're bite. straying away from food, which yeah. I... I Thank think that's God. a good move. Glam light, move away from food. We've had enough of your food. But also stop blowing smoke up your own ass. Yeah. With, this is the eyeshadow palette of our generation. No, it's not. Okay, Joe Malone. So we have some new hair mists. These are scented hair mists. So um, these are essentially um, hair oils. So they're designed to treat the, and nourish the hair. They contain argan oil and pro-vitamin B5. Um, they're meant to nourish and strengthen. They're coming in two of their signature scents. They've got Dewy Wild Bluebell and Mellow English Pear and Freesia. These are available now. They've just launched in Australia. Um, they're $75 each, but they are available in the UK and the US. For different prices. For different prices, yes. Look, give me a Lux hair oil. I have nothing against it. It's very bougie. It is bougie. But it's bougie. If you, if you like the bouge, yeah. it works. There we go. All right, we've got a couple of things from Jouer. Firstly, we've seen that they're launching Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balms. They took their best-selling Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Treatment and made it a lightweight balm with a wash of color. So it's supposed to be glossy. It's supposed to have an alluring rose scent. Increase the look of fullness in your lips while uh, reducing the appearance of fine lines. So it's got some good stuff in it, supposedly. I don't know what Maxi Lip is. It's trademarked. Something to help 
Uh, Treat the lips. Be the plumper. The plumper, the, the serum, whatever it is. They've got shea butter and they've got jojoba seed oil. So this comes in six shades. Uh, we've got a translucent light pink, a tinted peachy pink, a tinted warm pink, a tinted warm brown nude, a tinted deep berry, and a tinted warm red. Launching the 29th of July, 18 US dollars each. They've also released, and this is already out, um, in store online at Sephora or at their store, I believe. Um, they've turned their rose gold uh, cheek duo into a mini, which is a yeah. great move. I just, like, I cannot say, I'm not buying this, but I cannot say how much I love this. Okay. Personally, and this is not going to be for everyone, but personally, I feel like if it's for the cheeks, if it's just, a blush, this area this area here, that you don't even should, pack on strong. It should just... be the size of a goddamn eyeshadow. <laughs> like, it should be mini, okay? Yeah. Because... It's not yet. Yeah. Jesus help me use my blush. So if you have if you don't know, we do have our own channels and we yeah. do do project pans. Yeah. And we know for a fact that it takes anywhere from a year to two years to use up a blush. Yeah. It's a long slog. So blushes, people go, oh, massive pan of blush. That's great. It'll last me forever. Literally last you it forever. Will. You, it will literally last you, you forever. You will either leave it to your children in your will or take it to the grave with you. Yeah. Like. Or chuck it out because you're sick of it. I have a collection of blushes mm -hmm. and my blush, okay, it's bigger than the average sane person, but it's not as big as some collections that I've seen. It would be enough to... I reckon 30 or 40 people for the rest of their life. That's fair. That's fair. That's probably fair. With daily use. That's fair. Um, so, yeah, I really like this move because people, I like it people um, and underestimate it... how much use. Yeah. And yeah. then it turns out there's still 20 grams of blood. <laughs> yeah, probably. But it's, it's yeah. 18 US dollars, which is great. So yeah. it's a pretty Good affordable price. price. And even if you like one of these and you use it to death, it'll still give you a good year's use. Absolutely. And it seems like a lot of people like that move as well. They just want to see some more of their duos come mm. into um, the minis, which would be great. Mini, 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 everything. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Lime Crime. Yes. We have the Unicorn Hair Color Conditioner. So these are um, color maintaining conditioners. So they help to deposit a little bit of color while also nourishing the hair. Yeah, so these are now available at limecrime.com in six shades for 16 US dollars each. The shades are pink, purple, universal, which is a normal conditioner, it's clear, uh, fuchsia, blue, and peach. So you can use them to, like you said, maintain the hair color. So the good thing about the website is with the conditioners, they'll tell you what hair dyes they pair yeah. well with. So the pink one here, this goes with bunny, bubblegum, rose, and shook. Then the purple one, it's just called purple. Uh, it's good for pony and oyster. The universal one is, wait for it, good for all of them. Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. It's a condition. <laughs> it is. Uh, then fuchsia is good for chocolate cherry. Is it chocolate and cherry or just chocolate cherry? I think, it, I, I don't think know. Maybe don't chocolate know. cherry. Uh, the blue is good for blue smoke, anime and powder. Peach is good for neon peach and sushi. I like sushi. Yeah. So, yeah, it covers a wide range. They also say that you can use them to mix, uh, so like to dilute colors to make them more pastel. So mm. that's where Universal good comes into play. So if you've got a peach, but you want to, you don't want it to be a vibrant peach, you want it to be like a soft pastel peach, mix it with conditioner and you can use it that way. Or if you've got very light hair or blonde hair, you can use them as a tint. Yep. So Good idea. Yeah. So it, it's just adding to the unicorn hair range, which a lot of people love. And if you love that, then these will help you, I don't know, make the hair dye go further. Yeah. Lorac have released a new Lux Diamond collection. So this consists of the Lux Diamond palette. 39 US dollars. The Lux Diamond Cream Eyeshadows, these are $22 each. There's a pink champagne, a platinum, a copper peach, soft gold, a rich plum brown, and a warm brown. And then we have the Lux First Class Lash Mascara for 24 
US dollars and it's available now at Ulta. Exclusively at Ulta. Exclusively. A lot of people are mentioning this looks like Violet Voss. Yep. It also looks a little bit like the Morphe palettes. Remember those yep. two that they Oh, yeah, those square yeah. ones. Yep. I actually really like those palettes. But anyway. <laughs> I nice kind of, formula, those palettes. But I the like, colors are so the yeah, same, same, same. They are. Same. They are same, same. Yeah. I look, I like browns at the moment. So do I. Yeah. So like, do I. If, I'm fucking hearing you. I like it. I'm so hearing you. I'm not going to buy it. And look, you can't even get Lorac here. So it's a moot point. But. Yeah. I'm very sorry. I apologize to everyone who's offended by this, but I like it. Yeah, I, I would use it. I would, yeah, I right would now, it. I would use the shit out of yeah, it. Yeah, that's, and then, that's all I, and then in, in a month's time, I'll be back on color. I'll be like, this then, is boring. Yeah. You're boring, basic brown palette. You're sitting in a corner. But right now, I'm like, Straight. fuck, I would smash that all over my face. All over. Look at that brown. <laughs> like, Look at that brown oh, and that one. Oh, and that complements that other brown. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that beautiful, sparkly brown. It's Match a cool, it with the brown. It's a cool tone brown. Great for the days I don't want to wear that warm tone brown. brown. <laughs> right now, that's my life. But it is, it is what it is. All right, Luna Beauty. We have seen something new is coming next week. Now, mm-hmm. that is actually this week. Yeah. Um, so right now, there is no updates on this. No. We'll have to update you next week because mm. fuck me editing in audio for a Luna Beauty release. I'm sorry, mate. It's not happening. But something new is coming. It's a summer collection and they're saying hashtag strawberry moon. So I'm thinking there's pinks, there's stuff going on. Yep. So things are coming. Excellent. Makeup forever. These are the Artist Nude Cream Liquid Lipsticks. Yes. So they're calling it a rich creamy formula. Um, and... They have a satin finish. They're supposed to be long wear and they come in 12 nude shades for everyone. 20 US dollars each. Yeah, so these are available now. Um, and look, I don't mind this idea. I want more brown. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. I don't... This is various shades of pink and yes, I don't actually I don't like associate... pink nude. I do not consider pink a nude. I consider pink pink. But I think that's because on certain people, pink nudes lean very vibrant pink. pink. Yep. On me, that's, if I, me. that's me as well. Yep. If I, I think it's because we've got sort of yellowy tones yep. to our skin. Yep. That if I wore one of these pink shades, it actually would look bubblegum pink on my lips. Yep. It doesn't suit me and look nude and that looks natural. Yep. It looks like it's bubblegum pink. I think the only one I could get away with is buff. bluff. Oh, bluff, yeah. yeah. I thought it said buff, but That's bluff. Right. I yep. thought it said something else before. But, <laughs> um, but, uh, but even then, I know that's going to look... Too pink. Pink on me. Yeah. For, for me, I think this is a range of pinks. Yeah. And that's why I don't like it. I yeah. like the concept of the formula, and I like how it goes quite oh light to quite God. deep. Yeah. I like the undraped, which I... Oh. Yeah, I, I know. I read that wrong as yeah. well. And I like bear. What? Okay. So... At, okay, bears like a purpley and yeah. undraped is a like a, wine. a dark. Yeah. Yeah, like I like this yeah. concept, but this is not nude to me at all. It's not nude. It's, it's not nude. These are rosy shades. This yes, is shades this of is, rose. Yes. This is the yeah. rose collection. Yeah. So long wear in 12 nude shades for everyone. Not for me, hun. You missed no. out. And even looking at the lip swatches. Um, you know, okay, if you've got pink tones to your skin, these mm. might be nude. They're just, they're not nude for me. No. All right, Natasha Denona, we've seen something new, limited edition, coming the 23rd of July. Now, today for us is the 23rd of July. It is. Uh, we know what it is, but we only have a little video that should be yep. playing. Um, so this is a limited edition Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow Mini Set. So we saw last month they released Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadows. Was it last month or this month? It might be earlier this month. No, I think it was actually late last month or mid last month. In time, the last month. Whatever. Time is a thing that we yeah. don't understand these days. No, it's Moving dead on. to me. Dead <laughs> to me. Uh, but yeah, so we saw these liquid eyeshadow products and they mainly came in browns. Yeah. I liked it. Some people didn't. <laughs> I'm digging the brown. But if you didn't like that and you wanted something a bit more punchy, uh, this is a mini set. So two mini shades in disco and space. So it comes in a duo. And one is a silver, sparkly silver, and one is like a sparkly, bluey, black... Space. Space. It looks like space. So this is not going to be for everyone. They do have different lids to the other ones. So one looks like an oil slick, one looks like a sort of... 
I don't know, like a silver with a color shift to them. So it's a bit fun. Um, and I do think the colors work well together. If you like silver, you generally like that dark color. Yeah. If you like that dark bluey gray color, you generally like silver. So they do work well together. Yeah. Um, but they're not going to be for everyone. But they're, you know, a bit of a fun thing. It's not brown. It's not brown. Uh, give me the mini browns. <laughs> I want the mini browns. From a brand called Rom and this is a Korean makeup brand if you're not familiar with them. We have a pretty This is so cute. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bit this is a bit special. Uh, so it's a collection in collaboration with the classic Japanese anime version of Anne of Green Gables. This is circa nineteen seventy-nine. Now, it consists of a bunch of products. We have the Zero Cushion in three shades. The Juicy Lasting Lip Tint in four shades. The Zero Velvet Lip Tint in five shades. The Better Than Cheek in two shades. And the Better Than Eyes in two shades. Um, now, this is... Thank you to Mimi for this info. She said it is available now at sites such as Style Korean and Beauty Box Korean. So if you're wondering where to get it, now you know. But, oh my god. So cute. Isn't this just a bit... And look at the... Look how it's in a I box. Know. It's like a cassette tape. How Fuck me dead. fucking cute is that? Oh my god. Just brings me back. This is just so good. And you know what else I love about this, right? Everything. If you look at this cassette box, there is a detail on this that is very important to me. Do you see that little tab yep. in the corner? Yeah. That was very old school. That is so old school. It means you can record over the tape. Yeah. Which insinuates that it's almost like a home like a home job, like yeah. recording it off TV. But this might have been but what it was like. But also the little thing wasn't it that you pushed it in to stop it? No. So yeah, so what you would do when you got a blank tape, it would have that tab and it would um keep a little lever yeah. like compressed so you could record over whatever was on it. Now if you got a tape from say um I don't, God, what was an old store that we would hire videos Blockbuster. From? There we go, Blockbuster. They would be, um, you could like push, push them, them out. In. Or they'd been pushed out. Like yeah. it was a, a gap. So you couldn't record over it. And if you wanted to record over it, you had to take a little piece of paper, hold it up, <laughs> squish it in there and tape it over. Mm. So it would act like one of those, um, little, those tabs. little tabs. But I just... I love the detail. I love it. I love I the detail. So and like, obviously the tape is designed to look like a legit tape. Yeah. So that little detail, and I'm pretty sure. That is what it would have looked like. Yeah. Because I remember Absolutely. cartoons, uh, kid cartoons and movies, they often had colored um, plastic. Yes. So they were yes. like Nickelodeon ones were orange. You'd also get, get ones that were gray. You'd yep. get ones that were red. Um, and generally the serious movies, the yep. adult movies were just black. Yeah. Um, but the kids ones would be, yeah, colorful. Yep. And this looks, this is rad. I it's love this. It's so good. I love the little compacts because these are something that, um, you could totally use. Like once you use it up, you can totally keep it. As like a little compact mirror. Absolutely. I think it's really sweet. I love it. Okay. Another thing that's very cute but a lot more expensive. Apologies in advance because this is going to make you want it. Oh, you're going to want the fuck out of this. You are. So Shiseido have collaborated with six designers to create a gallery compact collection. Now, what this is, is they've created pressed powders that contain SPF 15 and they are designed to absorb um, like oil and also uh, smooth out and correct the skin tones. They are slightly tinted. So they've created these gorgeous compacts. Um, each designer has designed three. So you can get, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's of them. a lot. Yeah. 18 um, to choose from, but they are pretty pricey. Um, so I, I hope that. Tell you, me the pricey. Look, I think in Australian dollars, I looked on Yes Style, they were like $100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um but I'm I'm assuming that in Japan and Korea they're going to be they're cheaper. They're going to be cheaper. Because yeah. um yes style sometimes inflate certain brands and I yeah. feel like this might be inflated. So there's that. Look. It's the only place you can get them. 
for so, us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there might be other sites that you yeah, can get them, but is. that's the one that we're aware of right now. Um, but they're very, very cute. So yeah. if this is like a nice quality compact and you can um, refill it, I think it is something nice to have. If you Absolutely. can't refill it, then it's dead to me. Um, this gorgeous one from Yumi Kitagishi. Kitagishi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that one is got it's got cats. gorgeous little cats. Like I'm dead for it. Um, there's some very very sweet ones here. I think they're really really cute. So um, if you're into like collecting compacts or you love um, like I don't know designers and really innovative stuff this would make a really good present for yeah. someone um but it's not your everyday makeup because it's quite pricey that's fair i but feel like sweet. this is like this is a collector's yes. sort of piece yeah, yeah you I buy agree. this as something that you're going to treasure and oh, look does it say if they can be refilled not that i can see from Smashbox, we've got a few new products to go alongside the uh, Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer that we spoke about recently. They have the uh, Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. It's 39 US dollars. It's available in two shades. We've got translucent for light to medium skin tones and translucent with a brightening banana tint for medium to dark skin tones. And this is one of those powders that um, you twist and it grates Gr the powder. It grinds, it grinds it, it Yeah. 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 So they're calling it a weightless setting powder featuring a built-in powderizer that grinds the finest, freshest powder to set makeup, mattify shine, and blur skin. Then we have the Photo Finish Weightless Setting Spray. This is $32. US dollars. Uh, it says, create your look and seal the deal. This high-performing setting spray makes makeup transfer proof and improves the wear up to 16 hours with a weightless, comfortable feel that's never sticky or greasy. And to refresh your memory about the Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer, that's also available. It's $39. US. Um, and it's supposed to, it's a transformative face primer that feels like clouds <laughs> and mattifies like magic. There's some buzzwords going on here. Um, clouds. Clouds and magic. Round. Magical clouds. Um, but it truly controls oil and shine throughout the day and is infused with healthy skin ingredients like witch hazel, salicylic acid, and zinc. So, um, yeah. Cloud. So, clouds. If you want your face to feel like clouds, uh, there you go. Still up. Yeah. We have something that's... It's a sneaky peeky. Coming. Yeah. Coming. So an Instagram account spotted this in store. It's a stand that's coming. Um, brands are bringing out foundations, new foundations, like it's going out of style. And oh. Stila is jumping on the bandwagon. So this is the new Hide and Chic Fluid mm. Foundation. I don't hate the name. Yeah, it's cute. Hide and Chic. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cute. So all we know is that it's coming soon. It's got covert coverage. Featherweight feel, feel, nutrient infused, and you shake to activate. So I, what does that mean? I presume it's one of those liquid liquid ones that have the pigment that settles down the bottom. Yeah, um, but that is coming soon. Uh, Sugar Pill has a special surprise coming our way at the end of this week. Yes. What is it? I don't know. But I would presume it's a summer collection called I would Endless think so. Summer Collection. And potentially featuring blues, pinks, purples, and peaches, and yes. maybe yellows. Yeah. So pastels. Yes. So mm -hmm. we'll have to update you on this next week because this will be edited by the time it's out. But uh, watch our watch out for our Instagram account where we keep you updated with daily news if you do want to see what it is because uh, you're waiting a week. Yes, it is what it is. But we're done with this episode. We is done with this we episode. We is done with its. It's Browns. Browns towns. Browns clouds. Brown. <laughs> clouds. Clouds. The time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP, and that VIP is Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Zoe, for supporting beauty news, and thank you to everyone who supports beauty news in whichever way you choose to do it. Including leaving the emoji of the week yes. in the comments so we know that you've made it to the end, and also leaving what your most interesting thing you thought was from this episode. Yeah, thing, whether it's good or good bad. Good or bad, yep. just most interesting, and possibly even going to our community tab later when I've looked at comments and vote on what you think is most interesting of the week. Um, but the emoji got around there. 
Clouds. Clouds. Because we want our skin to feel like clouds. Clouds. We want primers that make your skin feel like clouds. Clouds. Thank you, Smashbox. Clouds. 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 <laughs> clouds. <laughs> clouds. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. Yes. Um. Or not. That's or fine. not. We'll see, you, we'll see you guys next week. That's it. And check out our video from Wednesday. It was interesting. That was very fun. Bye. The time has come to get... <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? I, I hit the line.